So what I'm going to show you in this video is how to configure um, the logo in the top left of SharePoint site as well as the uh, title of the site. Now to do that you firstly need to navigate to the SharePoint site in which you wish to make these changes. Then in the uh, top right you need to hit the little cog up here to reveal the menu. From the menu you then select site settings. Now that will take you to a site settings area that is only accessible if you have administrative rights. Under the look and feel you'll find the option here title, description and logo. So simply select that and that will take us to an area where we can uh, now go in and change the uh, title if we want and you'll see that I've also got here the ability to uh, insert a logo. Now I can insert it from my computer so what that means if I select that option is is I can now upload uh, an image from my local workstation so I simply browse to that um, file and then upload it. You'll see that I get the option to uh, locate this in a destination folder so when I upload it by default it's going to want to put it into uh, site assets which is a hidden document library within SharePoint. Now you can change that and, no, and uh, nominate wherever you wish to place it. So it's also a good idea to put some version comments here as to what the logo is. Now apart from that, so that's uploading from the computer, we can also use an image that already exists from uh, SharePoint. So if we select this option, what it'll take us to is basically a navigator through our existing SharePoint site. Now what you'll notice here is that this is the layout of my site and I'm in my um, site assets by default and I have already created a directory called images and into um, that folder basically I have placed the logo that I'm going to use. So as you can see here's the logo here so I just simply select that and then go insert. So the good thing about that is by using a logo that's already uh, in SharePoint or one that we upload from SharePoint is it will stay with the site. So that's one of the other benefits. Now the third option here that you can put in for example is, is we could for example locate a URL of an image. So in this case I have um, the same image but basically a direct internet based URL. Now I could copy and paste that and place that in that location as well and it will use that um, as my image. Now you'll see that as soon as I uh, update or select an image you'll notice that in the top left hand corner the image for the site has changed automatically so uh, it happens pretty quickly. Now the last thing that we've got here is we can if we want change the website address so you'll see that at the moment the URL of this uh, internet site or this team site in SharePoint Online is called blank. Now what we could do is we could go in here and we could change that URL to whatever we want and that would then be automatically updated without us having to do any further changes. So again if you want to change the URL best practice is to try and keep that as short as possible to reduce uh, the, the URL length and improve navigation. Now when we're finished we simply hit OK that will then update the settings for our uh, team site and if we go back to home you'll see here that not only has the uh, name changed for us, so again this was our title that has changed, but also the logo in the top left corner has changed. So it's really that simple to change the logo and the title of a team site. Remember that you can upload a image from your workstation to use uh, as the team site logo. You can reference an existing image that's in your team site or if you want you can use a direct URL um, that points to an image out somewhere on the internet. So that's how quickly and easy it is to do and thank you very much for watching the video.